speaking to Bas Viner of Orbit Showtime Networks. Bas, what were the challenges of unifying OSN's CRM and contact centre systems as part of the merger of Orbit and Showtime? And why was it so important to get that right? Uh, well, the biggest challenge there was the, uh, the actual time pressure. As soon as the merger was announced, we wanted to make sure that we could offer our customers uh, a true experience of Orbit Showtime combined in as little as time as possible. So one of the first things we did is make sure that the CRM, uh, the Customer Relation Management Systems, were merged and migrated within one system as soon as possible. Uh, we've managed to do that within a three to four month period of time. Uh, after the merger was announced. Uh, on air, the customers started seeing uh, the first couple of channels from Cross Orbit and Showtime within a matter of days. Um, and then, third of all, the big thing for us was the, uh, the contact centers, the customer service centers that we have across the region. Uh, we wanted to make sure that no matter where the customer phones or gets uh, information from, it will always be in the same way. It will be the same customer experience, whether they come through the UAE or Saudi or Kuwait or Egypt, it must be the same thing. So we wanted to make sure that we have the same platform there. And that's where we started to roll out the, uh, the Avaya system. You've integrated a number of the key systems here at OSN uh, to provide business intelligence. Mm. Uh, what's the strategy behind that? Um, the strategy behind that is that we want to have a complete view of anything that touches the customer and anything that has an impact on our P&L, indirectly or directly, and we can see that through the various views in our uh, business intelligence uh, systems. So that means that in the back end we make sure that we integrate all systems within our data warehouse, and on top of that data warehouse we put our business intelligence uh, system. Um, so it's really a matter of being able to do a lot of what-if analysis, no matter what view you have, whether that's from a financial point of view, from the CFO for instance, or from a programming point of view or a customer service point of view. Um, that all needs to come from one system so there's only one version of the truth and that is the, the key key driver. Everybody talks about the same fact and that's pretty, pretty much it. Can you tell me some more about the integration of the Avaya contact centre system with your other systems mm. and what the future potential for that is? Okay, uh, well the first thing we've done is uh, we needed to make sure that uh, the Dubai uh, core system was upgraded to the newest version. Uh, after that we started rolling this uh, same system out across the region. Uh, so that's uh, in Kuwait, in Saudi and in Egypt. Um, what we've done there from an integration point of view is we've made sure that the CRM and billing platform is directly integrated with the Avaya system um, as well as our data warehouse system. So again the reporting side and the intelligence side that you get out of that integration means that a customer phoning us will not only give us a report about how long their call is but also what the profile of that customer is, what product do they have, what, what's their payment behavior, in which country do they live, etc. etc. Um, the future will, will bring things like web chat and true email uh, consolidation within the whole contact center. So even uh, if you send us an email or it goes uh, or you go through the website and want to start a chat session with one of our customer service representatives it will still be handled through the same Avaya platform. You work closely with systems integrator EMW for this project. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a bit more about their role? Um, well, we've had a historical uh, tie between the two companies. Uh, they've done the initial imp implementation of the Avaya system uh, here in Dubai and, uh, and in Egypt. Um, so at the moment that we chose Avaya as the platform to be rolled out across the region for Orbit Showtime Network, um, they were pretty much uh, on the ball immediately. They knew exactly what we wanted to do, what the standards were, and well, they can deliver within the time pressure that you have, particularly within the media market. Uh, so we knew that they were up for the job, um, and well, they haven't uh, they haven't disappointed there. They uh, had an immense amount of, of, of involvement in this and dedication, um, and have pretty much had a complete flawless rollout. Um, and that's again across four new contact centers uh, across the region. So that's uh, quite, a, quite a good role and we keep on working very, very closely with them. 
You've got a large in-house development team here at OSN. What's mm -hmm. the strategy behind that? Um, well, the strategy behind that is, is that, particularly in the media market, you need to be able to react very, very quickly to changing market uh, uh, circumstances. Um, that also means that at the moment that we need to roll out a new product, we need to do that very, very quickly. And we're talking probably more in a matter of hours than in days. Um, if we would outsource this, that would be a far slower process than doing it ourselves. Uh, this is something that we've been building up over the years. Uh, it's a very strong team that delivers us all the systems to the outside world that we need. Uh, so whether that's our dealer network, whether that's our customers logging in through the website, or people going in with their, uh, their Blackberry, uh, they actually deliver the platforms so they can interact with our CRM and billing platform, they can upgrade their packages, they can do all these things. Um, the turnaround time at the moment for a new product or a new campaign is usually even within the 24 hour frame, which is quite remarkable. Uh, so that's a very simplistic reason as to why we keep that in-house.